This has been a mystery for a long time in CSGO. At certain angles and positions, models can be seen from behind smoke grenades. This is a problem since it lets you see player models when they should be hidden from sight. I don't think I've completely solved this case, but I've been able to learn quite a bit about it. Enough to repeat this bug quite successfully. If a smoke goes off between you and a model, but you're nearer to the middle of that model than you are to the smoke, then it assumes that the whole of the model is closer than the smoke is, and makes it visible. The fences on the old nuke were notorious for this, in part because they were so long. The fences came in groups of four, so if you threw a smoke at the distant edge of one of these, then ran to the other end of the model, then it was very easy to see through the smoke to the prop behind. So it could be happening with smaller models as well, but we just don't notice because they're not big enough that significant amounts of them can be in front of and behind the smoke grenade at the same time. And it's also a bit to do with your rotation. For example, when you're stood like this, it's fine. But if you look to the side, boom, goes the dynamite. Visible again. This could be because smoke clouds are made up of sprites that always face you. So if you face it directly, then they'll all be in front of the fence. Turn to the side, and they'll start to pass through the model a bit. I don't know. Valve might do. Please fix. And the beauty is, they don't even have to fix the smoke grenades. It seems that they could just fix the models instead. The new nukes fences don't have this problem, for example. And yes, they are smaller. They're only grouped in ones and twos instead of fours, for example. But even if you get an identically lengthed fence and compare it with the old model, you'll see that only the old model suffers from the bug. Something has changed with the new fence that removes the problem. And the final thing I've discovered wasn't my discovery. Thanks to Suplex44 for pointing out this problem on disparity. This is what started me on this research in the first place. This big rock along the back fades out if you're far enough away, and he noticed that if it's in this semi-transparent, fading state, then it makes any smoke grenades touching it see-through. And it's really obvious because the rock prop is so large and solid, making anything in front of it even more obvious than with the fences on Nuke. The reason that props are made to fade out is for optimization, since if the computer doesn't draw them, then it can run at faster frame rates and so on. The mapper can avoid this being a problem in CSGO, since if done properly, the objects can be set to fade out at a far enough distance away that they're no longer visible by the time this happens. But it doesn't take long to find examples of it happening in most maps, normally with smaller props and so on. But I can make any prop cause this smoke grenade issue if it's fading out. For this fence, I set it to start fading out straight away. And sure enough, even the new nuke fences bug out if they're slightly transparent. The ball's in your court now, Valve. And if you want to see how broken it is for yourself, then you can download a map that I uploaded to the workshop that showcases all of the problems shown above. Enjoy.